The eight ANC members include Provincial Treasurer Denim Caesar. He faces fraud and corruption charges relating to the collapse of the VBS Mutual Bank. The SACP says the affected members have not indicated if they will challenge their suspensions. In our interaction with the ANC, the latest information we have is that as we would know also because it's a national decision. Those who didn't stop us voluntarily have been served with suspension letters. But the good thing about Limpopo is that we don't hear, we don't have any report about any of them, you know, cooking any, any snook underground. It simply meaning we, we, it doesn't look like we are seeing any resistance like we see it elsewhere in other parts of the country. And, and that comforts us because the call for everybody to step aside is not just the call of the ANC. It is the call of the people of South Africa. In fact, the whole world expects from all of us liberation fighters, the ANC led, to, 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 to follow principles of good governance sound leadership, good management, good administration. Wherever you are, the law must be seen taking its hand and must always comply. Political analyst Elvis Masoka says the ANC's National Executive Committee must decide on Caesar's fate as he had previously voluntarily stepped aside. The challenge in the Limpopo ANC is around, you know, uh, their provincial treasurer, uh, Denim Caesar. Remember some few years ago in 2018, he was requested by the ANC to voluntarily, you know, step aside over, you know, those allegations concerning VPS. And indeed, Denim Caesar complied and step aside. But right now, there is no any clear political and constitutional clarity as to whether should we also step aside. Because remember, he stepped aside previously for the very same allegations that he's also currently facing. So, but the Tule House is in a better position to can clarify as to what must happen with regard to Denim Caesar, the provincial treasurer in Limpopo. But what is quite clear is that it is uh, the National Executive Committee of the ANC that will give guidance and a blueprint about those who are defying, those who didn't, you know, abide by the 30-day instruction.